Hi guys, this is Weekly Wax Melts number 48. I hope you'll forgive the even scruffier than normal appearance, but as soon as I'm done with this review, I have a, a yard to mow and a flower bed to weed and a lot of painting to do. So um, I'm just going to jump right into this right away. Before I do though, I would like to mention that I came home from the farm over the weekend and found waiting on my front porch for me a box of scent shots from Ariana and in that box was also um, a little gift for Emma so again thank you guys for always thinking of us um, you're truly just some of the most amazing wonderful people men and women but and it's not just the scent shots that I've received from all of you, but the fact that, like Ariana, some of um, the other women on the candle board have sent gifts for Emma. And that just goes above and beyond. Um, but it's so very, very much appreciated. Um, in that box from Ariana, she included a lot of my favorites, which I love. Um, there were several in there that I have not yet tried. So I think... Um, Starting this week, I am going to probably, next week's review will probably be all um, scents that came out of that box from Ariana. So, on to what I melted last week. I melted Eternal Ember. Now, when Ashton smelled this cold, she did not like it at all. I, however, I like it cold. Um, unfortunately, I didn't like it as much when it went in the warmer. Now, Ashton does not like patchouli, and this does have patchouli in it, which I think is why she didn't like it. It also has mahogany and some type of, of floral in here. And it's a really strong floral, but I don't know exactly what it is. And on the web, uh, website, it just says Hawaiian floral. So, it wasn't terrible, but it's... It's not one that I will probably melt again, but if you like um, if you like strong florals or if you like scents, to me this smelled almost soap-like. So if you're into soapy smelling florals with a hint of woodiness, last week I kept saying woodsiness. And when I say woodsy or hear somebody say woodsy, I immediately think pine. Now maybe that's because I live surrounded by pine trees. What I meant to say last week and with this is a woody type scent, meaning more, you know, like um, like raw oak or that type of thing. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, Black Cherry Crumble. As I've said before, I'm really coming to love some of Victoria's uh, cherry blends. Not all of the cherries work for me. There are others that work better than this one. But I did like this. Um, and Victoria's candy to me, I'm sorry, Victoria's cherry to me smells more candy-like or actually Kool-Aid-like than an actual um, like cherry pie filling or anything like that. This, you do get a really nice bakery note out of this. And it's almost like a graham cracker crust note. Um, the crumble in here, if you're familiar with lemon ginger snap pie, the bakery note that you get out of that, that's basically what you get out of here. So this, even though I do have other cherry blends that I like better than this one, this one was really good. So bakery lovers, you might want to try that one out. Um, watermelon taffy, this was really strange to me because... I melted it on a day when I had all my windows open, the fans were going, it was extremely windy outside, so I wasn't getting a super strong throw in the house. Um, so I did melt the full scent shot. Um, and I did my normal quarter in the living room, quarter in the kitchen, and then I also did a quarter in my guest bathroom and a quarter in my bedroom. Now, depending on which room I walked into, it smelled different to me. So, and excuse me, my sinuses are all plugged up, pollen flying. So, um, even smelling it now, it smells almost perfume-like to me. I don't get any taffy out of it, and I can't say that the fruitiness I get smells like watermelon. To me, it smells like something 
that would be more sour, um, a sour type fruit. But that's what it smelled like to me, like in my kitchen. So I don't know, and what it smells like to me cold. So I don't know if that's because, you know, you get that intermingleization of different type scents, whether you're cooking something or, you know. Um, but then in my bedroom, I could really smell the taffy portion of this. I still didn't get a true watermelon, but I did smell more of the taffy. Um, I also smelled more of the taffy in the guest bathroom. So this is good. Another that I don't know that I'll reorder again. Um, basically because I wasn't real crazy about that perfumey watermelon. I am, I'm hoping that makes sense too. Um, that's the best way I can think of to describe it. I also melted soft blanket. Now, I know this one re was required. Here we go again. I, I do not edit anything, so you guys are just going to have to take me or leave me. Um, soft blanket is one that was requested over and over and over again and was finally added to the line. This has citrus in it. It has some amber and some vanilla. Um, the amber in here, again, is a very perfumey amber. This smells very much soap-like, which I'm assuming it's supposed to smell like. I've not smelled um, the product that this is duping, so I don't really know, but based solely on the name Soft Blanket, I'm thinking that it's supposed to smell um, sort of maybe like a laundry detergent, and it kind of does. It actually smells like um, maybe like a lotion you would use on a baby to me. So another one that I wasn't super crazy about, but I know that there are a lot of other people on Victoria's um, various websites and Facebook pages who really, really love sweet blanket, uh, soft blanket. See, there I go again. Fairy Garden is wonderful. This really surprised me. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I kind of figured that it was going to be a soft, delicate, feminine, sweet floral. But this has also got um, this little bit of brightness to it. There's some type of citrus in here, I believe. And a, there must be a little bit of fizzy pop because I get this almost like sparkle out of it. So... Yeah, and I, I can smell lotus blossom in here. At least I think it's lotus blossom. If not, it smells just like it. But this was excellent. This is really, really a nice summer scent. On a hot summer day, it's just one of those scents that almost makes you feel lifted up and refreshed because of the sparkle. So that was really nice. I also melted sweet pea. This is one that I love. And this is a strong thrower. Now, I kind of mangled it <coughs> when I put it back in the cup. I did melt a quarter of a scent shot of this, um, although it doesn't look like I've taken that much out of here. I intended to melt a half scent shot, a quarter in one warmer and a quarter in the other, as I always do. I put them in my warmers and forgot to turn one warmer on. So... Thus, I ended up melting just a quarter instead of the half that I intended to. But that quarter was actually strong enough to scent my whole house. So, if you're familiar with, I believe it's Bath and Body Works Sweet Pea, this smells nearly identical to that. Um, very, another very sweet, feminine, lovely, lovely floral. And this is definitely one that I would order again. So, and, and clean. It smells very clean. So, that one I really enjoyed. And Elvis, one of my all-time favorite bakery scents. Now, I don't like peanut butter and banana sandwiches. But peanut butter and banana in this scent shot is... <laughs> wax all over. Is amazing. Um, if you're someone who really enjoys... Victoria's Banana Scents or is a bakery lover, this is a must try. Throws excellent, lasts a long time. 
and I just really cannot say enough good things about this scent. And that is on my favorites list. So, that is it for this week. As I said, next week I'm probably going to focus on some of the scent shots that um, Ariana sent to me. So, until then, thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you next week.